site. But say if you say if you launch it and you want to share it with people, but it's not ready yet. Here's the last thing I'm going to show you how to do: create a cover page. So I'm going to go down here under not linked. You click the plus icon, click cover page, and it brings up the new cover page. Home. I'm going to call it home. And they have all these preset, really good looking layouts. Right? You can do one that's like a full banner image with text over the top. You can do one that's like a full banner with a block of text over a square. You can do one with that's like a picture on the right with text on the left. You can do one with text on the right, but the full banner. There's so many. So just pick one that you like that you think will work with the content you have and roll with it. This one's cool because it pulls your Twitter feed. This one's cool for bands. You can put an audio audio on that. And again, you can filter it too. So you can filter it from like audio, video, right? If you're if you're a filmmaker, do the video one. And then you have a, a play icon. You can play something from Vimeo or, or uh, YouTube. Let's just pick a basic one. Let's do this. All right, we picked it. We're going to go back, change the branding and text. We'll change it to coming soon. We'll change, no, I'll change it to, I think what I put on mine was like getting some beauty sleep. So automatically dynamically resize to make look, make it look good right away. All right. And go like back soon. Save that. You can add a logo if you want, right? But my name is Nick Oroko. Save it. And we're going to change the media, right? Let's change this background image. I'll change it to the exact one that I had as my cover page. I think I have that. There it is. There we go. And then you can change this action to be a button. So a lot of people do it like one of my clients, Doug McIntyre. We have like a cover page as his home page, the picture of him, and then like a welcome button. So you can either click like the different things he does, which brings you to a different portion of the website, a button that brings you to the main page or his social media. So we click that. And then that goes to his website. So you can do that from you can do that from here. You just create a button. Um, or you can do a form. Like if you're not ready for people to jump into your site yet, delete that, add a form, be like, contact me. And you edit the form. It's already set up to a contact form. You can call it contact Nick. Storage. I'm gonna send it to my email. I can even set it to a Google Drive if I wanted a spreadsheet of all my contacts. Oh, I didn't connect it. Bam. There we go. Save it. There we go. Automatically has my social media because I already connected that earlier. And if I wanted to change the layout, it's super easy to do that. If you want to change the style, you click style. And then that's where you would go to town like we were doing before. Right? So we have that created. Now, how do we create make that as the home page? Because right now this is the home page, right? The index that we made earlier. I want to click the gear icon next to the cover page. I want to scroll down and I want to click set as home page. Confirm. That's now my home page. So I think I set this to like Nicaroco rocks.squarespace.com as a temporary domain. So this is what I do for my clients when I'm building their site. On the back end, I make a custom or a custom temporary domain and I send that to them. Only we know about it. So that's why we can check it out and they don't have to worry about their audience seeing it. So let's go to an incognito window, shift command N, which uh, basically sees you as a new person. It doesn't have any past browsing history. So I can type, type in Nick Oroko rocks at squarespace.com. Let's say trial website. Okay, cool. Am I the owner? No, I just want to check it out. Visitor access. Type in the code that they prompt you with. 
view the website. There it is, right? I set that as my homepage. There's no way to see the other pages because there's nothing to click on except for contact me and the social media, which goes to here. Right? Pretty cool. And then if I, again, if, I, if I'm like, all right, I'm ready to launch this, this is how you do it. You just go to your current homepage that you want to be your homepage, click confirm. I'm gonna reorder this because it's gonna drive me crazy. Typical websites should have like welcome or home first. Then you should have your about. Then you should have maybe your blog, your events, your products, your store. Let's call it store. Oops. Store. Events. Careful with that URL slug though, remember. And there it is. I have my navigation. It's ready to go. That's my actual homepage now. So if I go back to my incognito window, command tilde, command R to refresh. Right? Pretty cool. And that's it.